What is up guys? David here from Overland Nomad. I think I'm going to be doing that little intro every single time I do a gear review in this garage. But let's get right into the Blackfire power station. Actually, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys a little update on the Tundra. I put some bumpers and sliders on there. Let's get right into the video. And I apologize if it's a little windy outside. It's really windy outside. But anyways, let's talk about the Blackfire equipment that I have right in front of me. So about a few months ago, Blackfire sent me flashlight, speaker, power station, and two solar panels. I got them right here. I actually tested all this product out in a previous video where I did a cam kitchen out of my truck. I ran an Instapot, a sandwich maker, a coffee maker, everything. The Blackfire did it all. It was awesome. This thing is probably the best power station that I have in my arsenal of camping equipment. Um, if you watch my YouTube channel, I do get some products to review from companies. I have this EcoFlow that I've been using for a while. This is my first power station. I have this Picron, I hope I pronounced it right, uh, 600 watt power station. And uh, I actually have a Blue Eddy, I think that's how you pronounce it, power station that I just lent out to my friend Victor. He's gonna test it out on the trail. So that's more of a field test uh, coming up very soon. But uh, the Blackfire, is the best power station that I have yet. Uh, it does everything. It absolutely, the design, I love the design on this thing. It's got these sturdy handles and it's got, you know, I love that it has this area to put your charger. It's pretty nice uh, and it's magnetic too. But I did more, I did a lot of an in-depth review of, this, of the power station on that video of the Ken Kitchen. So go check that out if you want more specs and all that. But I wanted to give you an update on the equipment. I wanted to talk about my trip that I just came from. I just came from Mexico, and I know I hadn't told you guys on YouTube. I've been hinting it, and I posted stories on my Instagram, if you follow me on there. Me and my dad traveled to Mexico with some other guys uh, from, the, from Texas, and we met up with some guys from the area, and they took us out on a three-day adventure in the middle of nowhere, in the mountains. It was amazing. It's probably the best adventure camping trip I've ever done so far. And I think that's gonna be very hard to beat. Just because of the culture, we're in Mexico, everything's just different than what you experience here in the US. Um, but anyways, this is the equipment that I used over there. And one of the most important pieces of equipment that we had were flashlights. Um, my dad, I, I handed him this one. This is a bigger Blackfire flashlight. One thing that's really nice about it, it's magnetic on the back, so it just sticks and uh it's got two modes it's got one light on the front and then one light on the side so if you're facing it down you can enable the lights on the the bottom and it'll just you can see everything down below also one nice thing about these flashlights is that they are usb-c rechargeable so no batteries you just plug it in and it's usb-c which is what we're using nowadays so it's kind of nice that they use usb-c this flashlight came in handy it lasted about three nights three days this one also lasted about the same. This actually died that last night. Uh, I had to use another flashlight that I had on me, uh, but it lasted three nights. For being this small size, it's really great. I carry this in my pocket along with my Leatherman multi-tool. And uh, that was a perfect combination to have on me. Uh, that was my everyday carry on that trip. And I highly recommend them. They're really nice, really bright. This right here is the Blackfire speaker. Bluetooth speaker. It's got a magnetic backing so you can just stick it um, on anything. I actually don't use this much on trips just because I don't really play music when I'm camping because I'm, us I'm usually filming it and I can't have music playing. Uh, whenever I'm not filming, I am playing music kind of low. I'm not one of those last that blasts music. I, I really don't like that. But what this comes in handy is in the garage. I use this a lot in the garage. I have a uh, tool cart that is metal, so it sticks on there, and I love it. One thing I do have a problem with is that right off the bat, the little, it's supposed to kind of clip here, and it broke, the little plastic broke, so it just kind of dangles, which is kind of annoying. Um, maybe that's something that they can fix later on. It's a tiny little fix, but uh, it broke, so kind of a little disappointed, but this thing is awesome. It's loud, and it's a magnetic, which is the most important part. Cause I can just stick it on my truck. I can stick it on anything that's metal. 
So that's what I really like about it. But let's get right into the power station. So the power station itself was great. I use it to bas basically power or in charge any equipment that I had in the back of the truck. So my dad and I would set up camp. We would cook out of the tailgate. So that's where the power station was at because I have a Walmart LED light that hangs in the rack. So that one just used a wall outlet and I would plug it into the power station, which is not the best way to do it because you're wasting a lot of power on this thing, running the inverter on that on that uh, plug. So it's better to use uh, the, the cigarette lighter, a 12 volt on that or USB, whatever. Um, so we would have it on, uh, we would have it there in the back of the truck to charge anything like phones or Apple watches, whatever. Um, one thing I didn't use it was to power my fridge. So I have the luxury uh, to have some power stations that have been that have been sent to me to review in the past, and it's a big luxury to have, guys. This kind of equipment you don't need to have to to go camping. Okay? You don't need the fridge. You don't need a power station. Okay, but when someone hands you a product to review, you do it. You get that item for free. Okay, that's you know it's it's a luxury. Um, so I'm now used to having a my Iceco fridge in the back of my truck, which is by far the best upgrade ever. Having a fridge is the best. I never had to fill up with ice or anything like that on my little expedition in Mexico, which was great. Um, but one thing I couldn't do is use this power station to uh, power my Iceco uh, 75 Pro D fridge. Um, the reason why is because that fridge gives me an error when I plug it into this power station using a 12 volt plug. I am not 100% sure why, but I do have a clue. One of my friends, uh, Giovanni, that went on that trip to Mexico, he told me that he has the same issue with his fridge, his Snowmaster fridge running on a Gold Zero uh, power station. And he said that you basically need to get like a regulator converter, just a little adapter you can get on Amazon. And you plug it into that adapter and the adapter plugs into the power station and you're good to go. Um, so I was a little disappointed. I don't know if that was a problem with ISCO, problem with the power station, but as you can see right now, I have this set power uh, fridge that actually I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. I've had this fridge for about almost two months. <laughs> I took a while to do review videos because I really wanna test them out and see what's wrong with them. Um, this fridge I've already used it on a trip and I've had it running in my garage for like almost a month. And I've seen its pros and cons. Uh, but as you can see right now, it's plugged in uh, to the 12 volt cigarette lighter and it's cooling. Uh, when I started this video, it was at 80 degrees and it's been basically draining this thing uh, to cool. And I have no issues. So I don't know what, what it is, but this thing is working with a 12 volt. So. Okay, before we finish the video, I want to give you guys a little update on the Tundra. I got some bumpers and sliders on it. And uh, again, I apologize for the audio. It's really windy today. I took the bed rack off today because I'm getting ready to mount the four-wheel camper in the back. But let me show you the bumpers. So I had my friend Jacob make me some bumpers and sliders. He's the one that made the bed rack on the Tundra. And I'm gonna link his channel down below. He just started a YouTube channel. I've been helping him out, edit some videos for him. And he actually made a whole video of him making the bumpers and sliders on the Tundra. So go check that out. Go, go also subscribe, please go subscribe. He's gonna be making a lot more videos soon. Here's a rear bumper. So if you're interested in uh, some custom work, hit him up, located here in uh, South Texas, uh, in Edinburgh. <laughs> I broke this light the last day on our camping trip, so I need to fix that. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. If you like it, please hit that like button. That would mean a lot. And uh, more adventures coming out soon. I don't know where I'll be going next. Maybe the beach or something. I'm going to put the four-wheel camper on the Tundra. Actually, I want to take the Nomad out to the beach on a solo trip or something. We'll see. So uh, follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys.